All right, I'm just in the process of making a plaque for my bear skull. I wanted to kind of steer away from whatever I've done in the past or traditional, try something new that would look kind of cool and do this uh, skull some justice. So I ended up uh, going online and finding some pictures that are just a little bit different, right? Just a little bit of a creative inspiration. So I ended up finding this shape of a bear plaque, I guess. And it looked good and I wanted to give it a try and see if I can draw it out. I, I never got a template from the guy who did it or anything like that. I'm not even sure what he is doing. Maybe he's probably trying to sell this template. So I will have a link to his site in the description just so I don't try to screw this guy over. But I can't see many people wanting to do this. I'll just buy the plaque because chances are it's going to be cheaper plus the money you uh, spend on the product and the time. You could probably just go buy it. It'd be uh, just as good, if not better. But anyways, uh, I'm a glutton for punishment and I have to do stuff my own way, I guess. So here it is. So I'm just going to take you to the process in case you want to do this yourself. Save a few bucks and uh, keep you occupied in the garage. So I traced out as best I could from his photo, okay? And one thing that I did do is square the paper. Okay, that's the first thing you do is square the paper. This is just butcher paper that I use. So we know the sides are going to be square, right? But the ends aren't. Okay, so I just took a square, squared them up, cut it up for its square, made sure I found middle, right? So everything is going to be, for instance, you know, so you're going to be, you know, six, six and three quarters inches that way. You're kind of going to be wanting to do six and three quarters inches this way. And same thing with the ears, just so everything's symmetrical, right? So we got we're sitting around a little over six, and six over here as well. Another line, and this was the biggest starting point that I wanted to do, is uh, making sure that the ears were aligned. You know, it doesn't have to be perfect. You know, a bear's ears aren't perfect either, but for this purpose, I wanted to. So making sure that. Where the tufts of the hair go they meet over here okay at the same point and these ears over here at the bottom of the ears they meet at the same point as well okay and they're perfectly in line with this so they're all lined up the way we want them because once you get that out of line it seems like it looks wonky one side's wider than the other right now this side looks maybe a little bit more wider because it is shorter okay all right because it's kind of like the claw look, you know what I mean? So he's kind of attacking something. So, but it, it is measured up correctly. So originally I started off with pencil and I traced it, erased a ton and had the template that I wanted to use. And now I just colored it up with some marker. Cause first of all, you're not going to see it and then I won't see it. And then I'll be uh, putting this on a piece of wood, probably a soft kind of wood and uh, take the jigsaw to it. I wouldn't take the router to this at all. This would be messy, 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 at least for my skill level, right? My skill level is pretty moderate. It's just basic woodworking, getting by, at doing things in a budget fashion. And this is kind of what the skull will look like on it. Probably end up painting it. Hard to say, if it's a nice quality wood, I'll just stain the wood, but if it's just a particle kind of board, then I'll just uh, paint it black or something like that. But that's kind of the gist here. Something like this would be what I'm looking for, just to try it out, see what happens. It would have been nicer if the skull was a bit bigger to fill in. Maybe I made the sides a little bit too wide, but uh, we'll see what the finished product's like. So this is the first stages. So yeah, once again, trace it out with pencil as best you can, and then color with some marker so that you, when you're cutting this out with scissors, you'll get it accurate, all right? And then you can see if this is the template that you want to go with, right? So, oh, is this claw too long or not long enough? You can change that before you start uh, tracing this on onto a piece of wood. All right, I'll just give you some quick measurements. I'll talk as fast as I can here so this video isn't my usual three hours long. So you want from side to side, okay? This is pretty much the widest of it, right? So side to side is about 13 and a half inches, okay, give or take. And from the tip, 
let's go over here so tip of the pod to the ears pretty much give or take we're looking at 15 no 16 inches okay so once again that's 13 and a half by 16 inches now you can play with this do what you want okay because everybody's gonna be different and the skull just to put it in perspective I wanted to make sure that the skull's teeth were kind of lined up here right because this will be lying flat on the wall I didn't want too much overhang over here I wanted to kind of line up to where the teeth were because this would be kind of like its chin sort of thing right so my supposed hair or fur so we're sitting from the tip okay right here to all the way down you're sitting at about 11 inches over here okay and how wide is this dude this guy is five almost six inches wide so that should work the the back of the skull right here so this portion is lined up with this okay and let's see if I can give you a rough estimate here of where I'm going here so if everybody can see this it is, is this coming in frame here this is approximately 11 inches 10 and a half 10 and a half so I mentioned that I was tracing this template okay no I was actually freehanding this from the photo online okay so I did a little bit more digging and this guy's actually selling plaques that look exactly like this probably way better than I could do I'm not sure if it's wood or metal or anything like that but he is trying to sell them so I don't want to take anything away from this guy by showing people how to do this themselves but yeah once again I'll have a I'll have a link to his site in the description so you can uh, check out his products maybe buy one so but I definitely found this inspiring so kudos for him this was totally something I was looking for whoever came up with this drawing good on him fantastic thanks a lot so this is uh, part one.